Indian Air Forces Tejas fighter jet successfully intercepted German and Spanish Eurofighter Typhoons and French Rafale fighter jets, while they were en route to Solar Air Base for the multinational exercise Tarang Shakti. India is conducting a large-scale strike corps exercise in eastern Ladakh, with all elements including artillery armoured and infantry troops, to test the preparedness of troops that have been tasked with quickly manoeuvring to the front in case hostilities break out. Flying Wedge Defence has successfully completed both low and high speed taxi trials of its FWD 200B indigenous military grade bomber UAV. The Indian Air Force contingent has arrived in Malaysia to participate in the Udara Shakti 2024 exercise, to enhance operational coordination and facilitate knowledge sharing on maintenance practices. The central government has granted a defence licence to new space research and technologies for manufacturing of autonomous systems, UAVs, collective robotics, artificial intelligence systems and payloads. Armored Vehicles Negum Limited has partnered with Russia's Rosbaron Export, to offer the Russian Sprit light tank under the Indian Light Tank project. As compared to 107 seized Pakistani drones in 2023, the Border Security Force has seized as many as 134 Pakistani drones till July this year. Hindustan Aeronautics is gearing up to significantly enhance its manufacturing capabilities through substantial investments in automation technology for the AMCA program, and this strategic move is aimed at reducing the acquisition cost. By incorporating drilling processes during part manufacturing, the need for traditional craftsmanship in assembly is significantly reduced. The Indian Ministry of Defence is concurrently engaged in discussions with a private sector company, to integrate it into the final assembly line of the AMCA, that is scheduled to commence production in 2033. Johnet Technologies is developing an indigenous high-altitude long-endurance strategic UCAF named JF-5, that will be used for wide area surveillance, and time-sensitive strike missions over land or sea, and will be capable of conducting operations that are performed with fighter jets. It will be powered by turboprop engine, and will have a wingspan of 18 meters, an operational range of 8,500 kilometers, a flight time of 25 hours, and interestingly, it will have a maximum flight altitude of 40,000 feet. Tato Advanced Systems Limited will roll out its first drop G180 twin engine aircraft by 2026 that will be customized to serve as an electronic intelligence platform. The Grob G180 offers impressive capabilities, including a flight altitude of up to 45,000 feet, a range of 3,300 kilometers, and an endurance of 7 hours. With a payload capacity exceeding 1,000 kilograms, the aircraft can carry a substantial suite of sensors and equipment. Israeli firm Rafael Advanced Defense Systems has unveiled its counter unmanned aerial systems, that can be adaptable to any wheeled 4x4 6x6 8x8 wheeled or tracked vehicle. Upon identification and classification of a threat, the system offers several neutralization options, that includes drone dome soft kill technologies, as well as Samson Remote Weapon Station for kinetic neutralization, and the Light Beam High Energy Laser Weapon System, which offers advantages such as engagement at the speed of light, an unlimited magazine, and negligible cost per interception. Today's Top 3 Comments